The shell model is defined as the relationship of human factor and the aviation environment. It's generally known that most of the air accidents are related to human errors, while mechanical failure in aircraft maintenance today has enormously been on the decrease, with the number of new high technological equipment innovation. So, referring to human factor, every individual, either who take part in the operation or supporting part of aviation, has individual capabilities and limitations. Therefore, many countries in the world serve and secure the safety by training based on the interaction of each shell motor component. In this video, me and my colleague have chosen the MHS Aviation Hangar, located in Munich El Miat to investigate their work and practice and try to find out how they implement the ideology of share model in their practice. Before I proceed, I would like to provide some pictures and video of the hangar. Images Aviation, a member of Busted Group, whose principal activity in the provision of helicopter services to oil and gas companies in Malaysia. They are the leading provider of helicopter charter services in Malaysia and are recognized as one of the pointers of offshore helicopter industry in Malaysia. MHS company specialize in the movement of personnel to offshore production platforms and drilling rings and is also the leading civilian supplier of aircraft character surge and rescue emergency medical services and providing the training engineering and technical services this shell model is a human factor consensual that allows you to put yourself in every situation and clinical possible it's called the shell model because it's named after the first letter of it of its each component the lifeway, which is in the center of the shell model, can be defined as the human element, such as knowledge, attitude, culture, and stress. This lifeway is regarded as the core of the shell model, and the other components match with the lifeway as the central. S stands for software, so that's your interaction with paperwork, manuals, and algorithms. How easy to find your guidelines, and how easy to follow your algorithm. You interact with the H, which is the hardware, viruses, equipment, tool, aircraft, workspace, buildings, and other physical resources without human element. How is the space helping you in your work? How easy can you do something wrong with the tools you're working with? All these elements are involved in the hardware component. So you interact with the environment, which is the particular environment around you, the lighting, noise, are you distracted by the viruses of noises around you? Are you losing concentration? All these elements affect your performance. So now you're interacting with the L, the other lifeware in the situation you're involved in. This lifeware to lifeware interface refers to the group of people that you're working with, such as your teammate and colleagues. How is the connection between you and your teammate? Is it poor or is it good? These elements will also affect the team performance. So you can see that the shell model allows you to think about your interaction whether if they're positive or negative with the things around you in the given situation.